In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys the five best investments that I have made so far. Hi guys, my name is Jan. I'm the founder of The Present where we share about business, finance, and life-related matters. If you're interested about those topics, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. All right. So guys, when it comes to investments, right, uh, there are a lot of principles that I keep on mentioning. But now, uh, I will be focusing more on the platforms that I have invested in. But remember that these are not the only investments that we have. These are just some of the best, I think, investments that we've made so far. Okay, are you ready? So here we go. The first one is what we call FMETF. Once again, FMETF. It stands for First Metro Equity Trust Fund. This is here in the Philippines, right? If you're watching this from elsewhere, uh, we are actually based in the Philippines, specifically here in Davao City, and that's the reason why I'm discussing about the Philippine stock market as well. So the good thing about FME, FMETF, right, it's because what I like about it is it duplicates or it just copy, copies what's happening to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index, meaning to say the top 30 companies in the Philippines. So whatever is the performance of PSEI, it also is the same performance with FMETF right so it copies it right so it is an equity trust fund and i like it it's because i'm investing in the top 30 companies in the philippines so if in case something bad is happening to one company but the rest of the companies are performing well then i'm okay i'm diversified which is one of the investment principles that we all need to understand do not put your eggs all your eggs in one basket as of now um, as you can see here, it's around 13.45% growth as of this recording. It's not really that big for me, but um, it's actually growing, right? At least it's growing. But of course, my style, at least you know, is that I'm going to buy it and then hold it for the long term. When I say long term, it's around 5 years, 10 years, or even more, right? Because I just want to invest in the Philippine, Philippine Stock Exchange Index because I believe that there is a lot of potential as the years will go by, right? So that's my investment um, number one, FMETF. Number two is still in the Philippine market and this is what we call a REIT, you know? Ayala Real Estate Investment Trust. Now guys, um, some of you don't know this, but this is actually the first, the first real estate investment trust here in the Philippines. As of this recording, I have, uh, I have been receiving some news that there are other companies who are aspiring or who are in the process of creating their own REITs but as of now we only have a REIT so the stock appreciation for this is around 5.32 percent in my case right but the reason why I put this here as part of the best investments I have made so far it's because I'm not really in it for the stock appreciation what do I mean I'm in it for the dividends Okay? When you invest in REITs, expect that the stock appreciation is not really that fast. right? The stock price or price action, as they say, it's not really that fast. It's because it's REIT. Right? The business is earning coming from rentals, coming from leasing, and they are required to give you dividends if you are an investor in REITs. Okay? So in my mind, what I'm thinking is I'm not in it for the stock appreciation. I'm in it for the dividends, which is as of now, it's around 5%. It's really not that big, right? But eventually, it may also change depending on the performance of the business. So as the, per as the business will perform better, as the years will come by, then it will, then our, as investors, we will also reap the benefits of it. Okay, so that is number two. Um, a -read. By the way, if you want to invest in these platforms, right, FMETF, and a REIT, what we personally use is firstmetrosec.com.ph. That's our online brokerage firm, or, or should I say stock brokerage firm. And But that's not the only thing, or that's not the only stock brokerage firm here in the Philippines. You also have Call Financial. But what we use personally is firstmetrosec.com.ph. I'm going to put the link in the description so that you can just click it, and then it will route you to their website. Okay, that's number two. The third one investment uh, that I've made so far that I considered I considered it as one of the best is what we call Apple okay guys to be honest with you I'm really an Apple fan like 
the phone that I have right now is from Apple. The computer that I'm using is from Apple. My wife's gadgets are from Apple. I don't have my watch here. It's in the, it's in the, the bedroom. It's also an Apple watch. So besides the fact that I am a fan or a consumer of Apple, I'm also an investor of Apple, oh, right? But I mean investor is not really that big. It's just a retail investor. So as of this moment, moment it's around 61.54% growth stock appreciation and the reason why it's really that big in a short span of time it's because i invested in apple when the price was still low during um, the pandemic if i'm not mistaken i think i started investing in it around april 2020 which was still down because of the pandemic right remember and so what i like about it is apple is one of the companies that belongs in the s p 500 index Right? It is one of the top 500 companies in the US and it has been revolutionizing in terms of technology and it is well known for its great products. So from that standpoint alone and their income state statement and their financials are really doing well on a yearly basis. So I believe that it's going to perform well. That is why I invested in Apple. Okay, that's my reasons. Once again, guys, please remember that these are our reasons and our decisions when it comes to our investments. However, it does not necessarily mean that you should copy whatever it is that we're doing just because we said so. Right? You have to do your own research. You have to find your own self in order for you to say, all right, I'm going to invest in this because this is my findings and I believe that's going to grow in the future. So at least, you know, uh, please take note of that disclaimer because that's very important. Those, that's my third best investment. The fourth one is what we call Bitcoin, right? A lot of people are talking about Bitcoin nowadays because the stock, or should I say it's not really a stock, the asset price is around $18,000 as of this recording. It's really big, right? $18,000 for that specific asset class, which is Bitcoin. Now, this is the most famous digital currency of all we have ethereum we have other digital assets but it's just that bitcoin is the most famous of all right and as of now the growth rate in our portfolio is around 111.96 percent right and the reason behind it is we bought it around nine thousand dollars i think or around ten thousand dollars and now it's around eighteen thousand dollars so it's quite big so congratulations to us in terms of making that decision but at least you know right so the question really is if you want to invest in u.s equities and if you want to also invest in um, bitcoin in this case or cryptocurrency what platform are we using what we are using right now is eToro which i'm going to put the description uh, the link in the description and what i like about it is you can also create a demo account first for, just so you to try their system if you like it and if you want to proceed, the minimum initial deposit is around $200 and it's really, really fast, right? So that's what we use. I'm not saying that this is the only platform that you can use, but at least you know that that's the platform that we are using. And so far, we are very satisfied customers of that um, brokerage firm. What I also like about it is that when you, as of this moment, I'm not sure if they're gonna change it in the future, but if you're gonna invest or trade, in US commodity uh, US equities you will not be charged with commissions or transaction costs right which is wow right for us investors out there so at least you know Apple and Bitcoin if you want to invest in those things just like how we did it what we are using is eToro so that's number four I said I mentioned a while ago that there are five best investments that I made so far and that is why we are now at our investment number five which is ourselves now this is very ironic and uh for some people like why, why why are you talking about investing in yourself right it doesn't make any sense does it really grow well of course guys it's the point is this it's not really about the investment it's about the investor before you even invest you have to investigate right but the question is how can you investigate on something if you don't know what to investigate on how can you improve on something if you're not improving for yourself right so that's the reason why i really believe that you always have to invest in yourself it may be personal development financial development professional development whatsoever just for you to become better okay 
because I personally believe that the more you invest in yourself, the chances of you succeeding in life is actually higher, and that includes every aspect of your life, your relationship, your personal development, your financial development, and so on and so forth. The reason why I'm confident in sharing these ideas to you and these actions that we're doing, it's because I have studied these things, I have also done in terms of investing in these things, and I can speak in a way that's simplified and that's because of the personal development that I went through way way back in terms of public speaking so there you go at least you know right so guys before you even invest in growth funds stock market mutual funds real, real estate business forex whatsoever bonds time deposits money market whatsoever you have to invest in yourself you have to equip yourself first so that the chances of you getting scammed because scams will never go away scammers will never go away right especially what happened here in the philippines around april 2019 to may 2019 uh, a lot of people got scammed it's because they were thinking you know that your five thousand pesos will turn into twenty thousand pesos on a monthly basis but they don't understand the process why why did uh, they didn't understand the process because they didn't invest in themselves Okay, so at least you know those are the five best investment um, that I've made so far, the best investments that I've made so far. Okay, if this video added value to you in any way, don't forget to click the like button and comment down what your thoughts about this video. Which brings me to the question of the day. What is your best investment so far? Not us, but your best investment so far. Let us know in the comment section and see you on the next video videos.